On the second day of his visit to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Pope Francis met with victims of violence in the Central African country. Children as young as 13 recounted harrowing experiences of human rights violations and the pontiff pointed the finger at those who have profited from the decades-long war in the DRC. The Pope had initially planned to visit Goma in the east of the country, where the notorious M23 movement has recently resumed attacks, but that was shelved for security reasons. Earlier in the day, he arrived from Mass at Kinshasa's Ndolo Airport to a rapturous reception. He called for an end to the cycle of violence that has plagued the Democratic Republic of the Congo for decades and asked Congolese citizens to grant each other a great amnesty of the heart. Let us do this, brothers and sisters. Do not be afraid to take the crucifix from your neck and out of your pockets, to take it between your hands and hold it close to your heart in order to share the wounds with the wounds of Jesus. Many locals had come to the airport hours in advance to make sure they didn't miss the opportunity to see the pontiff and the significance of the visit was not lost on them. In Goma, people are suffering. There's war there, and there's too much suffering here in Kishasa as well. But I hope the Pope coming here gives the order for us to be at peace. There should be peace among us. On Tuesday, the Pope had denounced Western colonialism, which he said had contributed to the strife in the DRC. Pope Francis is to spend four days in the Democratic Republic of the Congo before moving on to the next leg of his trip in South Sudan.